Well, presenters, welcome back. Coach Tom here. TJ Tape, Warriors, Nuggets. Watch the game live, so this one's going to be bad. Jokic, who's coming up another historic season in leading the Nuggets. I think I said it was going to be threes versus twos or smalls versus bigs. And <laughs> in this game, clearly the threes beat the twos. And a soft touch off the jump hook. Um, I said Looney wouldn't be able to stop Joker. He wasn't. They subbed him out. They went Draymond Green on him. Aaron Gordon uh, sucked the nut. Looney using Joker's footwork on himself there. Kind of what you expected out of the Nuggets. Nothing out of the other guys. Joker kind of did his thing, but guys weren't hitting shots. Aaron Gordon was missing. Monte Morris didn't really do much. Will Barton played okay. Uh, Clay Thompson was just killing. Some of those Clay Thompson threes were demoralizing. Just, his, just the ability to catch and shoot quickly. He rarely ever takes more than two dribbles. So I guess the rest of this video, there's that space management that we talked about. Um, it'll be about adjustments. I don't expect Jordan Poole to play as crazy as he did. He, he can't have those games if he does. Well, uh, you expect the Warriors to lay the beat down. But what I noticed the most difference from watching the game to highlights is, is this stuff down here. The, the, oh, why is my, I don't know why my thing isn't showing up. Can you guys see that? I don't know why my, uh, my green screen isn't working. This battling, this battling down here with, with Joker. And if you watch down here in the block uh, area, how much Joker has to fight with Draymond. <laughs> Draymond can use all his energy to to battle Joker. And uh, Joker has to carry so much more load offensively and defensively. So if I'm alone, I'm uh, I'm not running Joker off all the actions to get him into the post. I'm just going to have him walk down to the post. A lot of times he was dribbling three, four times just to get post position. Since they're not going to play Looney. Like, like this, where he had to run, run down and across to get the ball. Just park it at the short corner, move it around. Like right here, he came off a screen off of Austin Rivers. And then he's spinning. And then right here, then he's establishing position right here. Okay, you could get this the same exact position on Bielitsa, Draymond, anybody but Kevin Looney. Um, they won't be able to kind of withstand Joker's just pure weight. So there's no real need if, if Warriors are going to play this small to run Joker off a few down screens and, and pin downs just to get him a post position, right? You want him to have a live dribble on the catch. You don't want him posting off the dribble because then he'll go into this stuff and the more, more dribbles, <coughs> the more pounds that he takes. Little guys like GP, all these guys, Draymond, all these high flyers can just come in and just take their chances. You know, whack him a few times, block him up top. They have plenty of fouls to use on him if they want to. So, like right here, they got Iguodala on him. Like, there's no way any of those guys should be able to do stuff. So, in, in one game, if they didn't already game plan like that, there should be some massive um, adjustments. And then you have to play to your style. You can't let the Warriors just speed you up. Like what Bielitsa did right there to, to Austin Rivers is kind of what Joker should be doing to everybody on the uh, Warriors. I don't expect Bielitsa, Porter Jr., um, any of those guys that have that big of an effect on the game. Draymond got lucky with a you know couple of shots. 
So what you expected out of Steph Curry, Jordan Poole gave you, and uh, what Curry gave you is kind of what you expect out of Jordan Poole. But those three guys, those three guys are going to be a problem. So if you get 60, 70 points out of those guys, it's going to be very, very tough to defend. Nobody played well for the Nuggets. Joker had an okay game. Will the Thrill had the uh, second best game. Wiggins, the the popularity all star. It's not really an all star. Like right here, simple plays like this. Joker's just pointing up on the out of bounds play. Knows that he has height over Draymond Green. Right, live dribble, just a little eye contact there. Everybody's one four flat on the bottom. Catch it, you got tons of space backwards. All right, there's no chance. So low post position where you would have Tim Duncan or elbow or nail action like Dirk Nowitzki with guys all at the bottom. That was the toughest move of the game, dude, Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole and, and that level of, of excitement, intensity. Jordan Poole brought it. Draymond Green brought it. I saw Joker get mad or, or kind of try to rally the troops once. It was just too late. Aaron Gordon didn't bring anything. Nobody brought energy. Austin Rivers was getting killed. I don't know. Maybe they got caught, caught with their head in... Uh, Deer in headlights. Babe, we have got to talk about how Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Looks like the season is ending is soon for the Nuggies. Let's keep watching the beat down. Like, oh my God. Purest, purest shooters, purest basketball players love watching the Warriors for their shooting, especially Clay Thompson. Like, they move the ball so fast. They're going to have to play like a, a hybrid zone with Joker. Just leave Joker in the middle and have the other four guys play on the wing. I would venture to uh, maybe we can get another guard out there. Maybe go with, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm starting Bones. Jeff Green and and uh, Aaron Gordon, I don't think, can play together with Joker. You need a third three-point shooter around Joker when he's going to post. So whoever, maybe like Bones. Like these relocations, like Draymond's just bricking shots, passing up wide open stuff. Joker doesn't have to guard him. It's not. He's kind of tired, but there's just no respect level for Draymond's um, three point shooting. Oh! Like that. Draymond is kind of crazy. There was that one time he made he made a a layup and started flexing and and they think they were up like 15 20 game was in hand and uh, Steph Curry was just looking at him like what are you doing bro same thing here Boogie is like dominating like simple stuff like this take your time even even if Boogie misses maybe. Really, maybe, just maybe, you can get Boogie and Joker playing at the same time for a couple minutes and just bang the crap out of them, right? Like, even if he misses right there, you, you should have Aaron Gordon cutting across, and that should be great um, offensive rebounding position for Aaron Gordon against any small guys. So simple post entries. You don't need elaborate. 
or multiple screens and actions to get Joker posting on the move. Bielita! Barely getting up. Wiggins. It's a pool party. Splash Brothers inviting you to the pool party. Will Barton had that. That was a nasty layup. I'll give him that. Will Barton. And then Joker kind of got in foul trouble. Like right here. Like. Oh, God. Like just simple ones like this. Joker just needs to. Just go to work. Like right here, go in with a little bit of jump hook instead of the step through where he likes to go through on the right foot. Like how Boogie did earlier. Like just just pass it out to Forbes and get it right back. If you pass it to Barton, you ain't getting it back. He has to exert his uh his dominance and then quit playing in a hurry. Like Joker is in 100% in charge of the pace. So when he gets this rebound and he starts sprinting and, and uh, trying to get it out and up and quick, nah, just, just take your time and walk it down there like Shaq or <laughs> right here. Curry. The bad thing for you Denver guys is Curry looked like he started to get in rhythm toward the end. And uh, his leg looks fine. I had to shake off a few little rust uh, shots in the beginning, but shots like this he started to get comfortable again and find the rhythm of the game. It's just garbage time. Yeah, man. What would you guys do for adjustments? I mean, I would go. I would get uh, Jeff Green or Aaron Gordon out of there. Put in bones. Put a third three-point shooter. I'd slow it down. Really, really, really slow it down. And uh, get Joker on that, what is that, the left block um, for him so he can come back to the right. Yeah, um, no adjustments made in the game. Um, <coughs> Steve Kerr adjusted pretty quick, getting Kevin Looney out of there after Joker just posted him up a couple times. And they went small, and they started chipping him or banging him on every single action every little handoff every little pick and roll so joker kind of wore down over time and was just getting annoyed um probably with getting chipped or banged on every little cut they definitely didn't make it easy draymond you know has that little edge to him iguodala has that little edge to him gary payton has that little edge to him clay thompson has that little edge to him in terms of defense so they're chipping them literally every which way um so i think joker can just kind of hang out in, in the block and uh, malone can save him a lot of trouble and a lot of uh, punishment in terms of defense he can just kind of hang back and kind of play that uh, FIBA center where he's just kind of park it in the middle and then you just kind of have four guys rotate around and um, see how the Warriors do with that and then just live if they back cut you and hit a little mid-range floater um, you don't want to be giving up threes to Curry, Poole or Thompson. All right, until game two, happy Easter. And until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.